Thanks for joining us. Coon Rapids voters will head to the polls Tuesday to help decide the fate of the city's parks and trail system. Residents are being asked to approve a $17.4 million park bond referendum. The money would be used to improve city parks, athletic complexes, as well as help complete the city's trail system. CTN's Jamie Karat has more. We would certainly like to see the referendum be successful. Coon Rapids City Manager Steve Gatlin and council members hope Tuesday's park bond referendum gets the nod needed to improve some of the city's parks and trail system. We think for the city this will be the, the final piece in the puzzle of addressing our unmet infrastructure needs. Council spent the better part of the year researching, prioritizing, and planning how to best accomplish the repairs and upgrades, all while being mindful of the price tag. Assuming a 20-year payback period for a $150,000 home, the tax impact would be about $50 a year, or roughly $4 a month. They'll look you right in the eye and they'll say, I support getting new parks, but I don't want to raise my taxes. Well, rebuilding parks is not free. Ted Schmolke and 27 other citizens recently formed a Vote Yes for Parks committee to inform voters of what enhancements could mean for the city. The chairman says much to his surprise, he hasn't run into too much opposition, which makes him confident the referendum will pass. Schmolke says this is an opportunity for the citizens to invest in the community, especially when it comes to Coon Rapids Athletics and Sand Creek Athletic Complex, a park looking to get about a third of the $17.4 million. As big as this is, this could very easily be our crown jewel. You could bring tournaments here, and the people of this community could be very proud of this park. If voters do not approve the bond issue, Gatlin says there is no other viable source to provide funding for park projects. We would just have to kind of continue on with a Band-Aid approach to repairing things that are broken, but not taking a bigger picture look at the overall system. And in addition to Sand Creek Park, eight other parks would be renovated and a proposed new park, Boulevard Park, would be built. About a third of the bond money would be used to complete the city's trail systems. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Election Day. And for, for more information on where to vote, you can check the city's website. Karen, Steve. All right. Well, we'll know next week what the outcome is. Yeah. Thanks, Jamie.